felt so sorry for my brother. He got married two months ago. It was postponed three times and he had 45 on his guest list. That's all he could have. And what he did, he worked it out. He married his fiancée on the Saturday morning so that 15 people could turn up. Then he strangled her the following morning. So when he buried her a week later, the other 30 came. <laughs> he got more wedding gifts at her funeral. <laughs> Everybody then rushed to the shops to rock up on soilet tolls because everybody thought they would have show wear to knit. Yeah, not only did she give herself an appendectomy, a hysterectomy and a tonsillectomy, she castrated her lover, took two fingers off her bit on the side, gave the vicar a hair lip and still there were five shaves left on the blade. <laughs> if you think you have Novid Kainteen and start to show any of the symptoms, such as dealing fizzy, a consistent puff, or you think you have a tie temperature, you need to nelf isolate for dentes and apply for a nelf testing set. <laughs> Private parts. Sorry, your password's not long enough. <laughs> it cost you extras because I don't like you men behaving badly. Dad couldn't believe she was open all hours. <laughs> kick apart, he said, kick apart, as he produced a cack of parts. Oh, you've got to kick a part or two. <laughs> Patricia Routledge, Carolina Hearn, Kathy Burke, Susan Cowman, Tracy Ullman, Barkham, Corby, Bryson, Crawford, Cook and Moore, and Graham Norton, Bobby Deverett, Brian Conley, Joe Pasquale, Billy Conley, Pam S. Jack D. and Jasper Carrot, Ken Dodd, Jethro, and Russell Howard. With one more left, I think that's me. <laughs>